Star Watch fans, I'm back and I've got another, um, let's see, this is a watch gang watch. Uh, it's the lowest tier wheel. <laughs> so I don't know what to expect. I'm not expecting much because um, I think each spin was like, what was it, like $52? Three Leagues Watches. Okay, I've never heard of that brand before in my life. So we'll see. <clears throat> oh, you know what? That's pretty cool, actually. I am not disappointed. I think uh, I'll have to uh, put up how much I spent, but I think I spent, um, I think it was $52 a spin. So it does not look like I lost any money here. It's actually pretty decent. I mean, it's, I think I got, I definitely got what I paid for, which is always the intent. So, interesting. It says artillery. All right, well, I'll see if I can put together a video on this. If not, then you may just come right back and start talking to me again. All right. The Three Leagues Grey League proves that not all dive watches are created equal. Powered by a reliable Swiss quartz movement, a perfectly proportioned 43mm diameter, 15mm thick, 316L brushed stainless steel case, makes a striking first impression. Peer through the sapphire coated mineral crystal front glass at its bold face where round luminous indices are complemented by a unique circular date window at the 3 o'clock position. Precisely designed hands sweep through the time while a unidirectional bezel adds additional visual flair and a distinct three leagues crest sits below the 12 adding further distinction. An intricate link bracelet in matching stainless steel confidently holds this handsome watch to the wrist and is the perfect finishing touch to this carefully considered design. All of this beauty features an impressive 50 ATM water resistance. Meticulously crafted details and robust build quality make the Grey League exceptionally useful and exceptionally beautiful. All right, so not much to say about this watch. Um, it is a uh, China, uh, watch made in China, so it's, it's what it is. It is a cheaper watch um, with shipping. My total is $52. Uh, I think I, not bad, <clears throat> I would say it's probably, uh, it's about what it's worth. Now, I did look, I did open it up, and I'll show pictures of it right now. It does have a, uh, a Ronda movement, I think that's like a, I can't remember, five something Ronda movement. It is not the Swiss made, it's the Swiss parts movement, and what that means is that they use slightly, uh, it's slightly lower quality effectively it means that it's not produced in the ronda factory they basically ship out the parts and the manufacturer may um assemble it themselves <coughs> excuse me or ronda will assemble it using a lower grade of of parts uh like for example fewer jewels um and uh i'll i'll put um actually what i'll do is i'll put a quick screenshot up I think I've got that, and it should show that uh, the Ronda movement actually has uh, these Swiss made one has got, uh, which is gold colored, I think has seven jewels, and the Swiss parts one has three jewels. Uh, still decent, I mean, you know, it's it's what it is. I think for $52, right, there's a lot of uh, gray market watches that certainly would be a better value. This watch isn't, isn't horrible. It has, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm not gonna say, this is a great watch, but uh, it's decent looking, so if you like the colors, it's fine. Uh, it does have a bezel. I'm not really sure what, really honestly, what you'd use it for. Um, the bezel is 60 clicks, uh, full 180 degrees. I'm sorry, 360 degrees, I'm tired. All right, let's see what else it's got. Um, five ATM, so 50 meter water resistance, not bad. You can go swimming with it if you want. It's a leather watch strap. Um, the watch strap is uh, is decent. It's it's not it's not super high quality. It's not a Horween or something like that. But it is nice and thick. You can see it is definitely thick, uh, and it does work well. Feels good. It has very nice supple supple feeling to it. Uh, I'd say probably if you were to buy 
this watch strap off, off eBay or Amazon, probably $18, $20 uh, watch strap. So all in all, I think I probably paid uh, what it's worth. I, this does not look like 316 stainless steel. Um, it's kind of blocky looking. Uh, this is not one that I'm going to keep. Um, I'll tell you that just because I've got so many like this. Um, but, you know, for for what it's worth, it's not it's not horrible. I've never heard of this brand before. Um, you know, it's got the date, second hand. Um, it is not a screw down crown. <clears throat> but um, otherwise, it's okay. Decent watch. Let's go ahead and uh, start measuring. Okay, 45, the lug width is 22, and the depth, I'm gonna say about 15, 14. I just get that wrong. The lug to lug, for anyone who cares, <clears throat> is about 50. Um, you know what, I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna take off this crazy watch that I have from Skamay. And see what this looks like. You know, it's not bad. It feels comfortable. I think the leather would break in uh, after a couple times. It even still has a logo on there, so it's not horrible. There's a, definitely a slight attention to detail on here for a certain price point, and that price point is probably very, very entry level. Um, for $52, right, shipped, I think there's some other options. You could get a used Wenger. Um, yeah. I mean, it's what it is. Probably my my first, um, my first, this will be my first watch game purchase that I'm not entirely pleased with. But what do I expect, right? It was tier one, uh, lowest purchase, uh, $52. It's what it is. Not not impressed, but um, yeah, I'll probably give it away at work. So there you have it. Hey, at least I reviewed it. So if you like this review, uh, please leave a like. Otherwise, uh, I guess you could leave a thumbs down if you really didn't like my review. <laughs> uh, and uh, please subscribe for more. All right, thank you very much.